Ah, suburbia. Between Swinton and Walkden in Greater Manchester, no one loves the suburbs. People think it's boring. It's neither here nor there. It's neither countryside. It's neither the big city. But the silent majority lives here. The vast majority of people live here. The suburbanites rule the elections. They choose the power. So it's about time. T time? Tome? It's about time. We bow down to our suburbanite overlords. Wavy, windy, flappy, red and yellow flame man. My three-year-old son's obsessed with this thing. It's not too far from where we all live. And uh, it was very tatty. The, the last one was all ripped. It was getting cut on the fence. But this one, brand new and shiny. Look at that, it cheers me up just looking at it. Now, how good is that? His company's called Shovelin. Now, if he works in construction or digging or roadworks and his surname is Shovelin, you know, like Michael Shovelin, that's amazing. Now, one incredible thing about Great Britain is just how much Victorian stuff there is around. I mean, here we are on Chorley Road, looking north towards Moorside train station. That's the Wigan line. You want to go get a wig? Go to Wig On. It's where they sell wigs. Great joke, Charlie. But anyway, this site you're looking at here hasn't changed for probably 150 years. All right, we're in the corner of Moorside Road and Chorley Road and everyone's favorite device, the temporary traffic light is being set up. I'm in the calm before the storm. Come rush hour today, absolute chaos. But you know what, we love it in the suburbs. Bit of road works, gives us something to moan about. What a weird way to write 1907. Nine, sigil of um, Lucifer, seven. Okay. Okay, we're back. My brain has processed. It's probably 1897. <laughs> ah, I do love the suburbs. Not only Granny Flats, not only Tesco Express, not only Pizza and Carvery, you can park. You can park your horse lorry for months in the car park. Nobody cares. Why? We're in the suburbs. There's plenty other spaces. This is the end of Chorley Road my friend, but it's the beginning of Manchester Road. And for my locals, for my local yokels, for my Swintonites, for the Swintonati and the Illuminati, who here remembers when uh, the sign opposite, oh God, where the sign opposite Tesco Express used to say Wardley, because we're in Wardley, but now it says Worsley. It's Mandela affecting my soul. I just don't know what to believe anymore. Am I in Worsley? No, I'm still in Swinton. Let's, let's go. Okay, here we go. Am I in Worsley or Wardley, Mr. Manchester Road sign? I don't know. Now, Pete's bus, I'm familiar with this company. It's uh, he ferries disabled children to school and back. And check this out. You know, you see that, you're like, what's up with the kids in the van? Is he okay? That kid looks weird. <laughs> okay, based in Swinton, Spartan amazing name for a business. Look at that, give them a free plug. This is Swinton. Lovely, lovely mock Tudor houses in suburbia. Check out how the ivy has come from the roots. I'm not gonna crack the Sepultura joke again, but uh, look at those bloody roots. I'm not having an upside down plastic bag with little uh, doggy poo poo bags is the middle class well it's the suburbanites way of passively aggressing telling the dog walkers do you mind not leaving stinking piles of dog doo doo on the pavey for those of us who don't have a car we ride the people's limousine I've been doing a lot of walking recently just to avoid the people's limousine now I, I do rent a lot but just in the last month Car rental prices are through the roof. And so, getting around in the suburbs can be a pain in the ass. And oftentimes, if you have the time, just walk, just walk it. Here's the wonderful 37. It's a good bus for me, that one. Door to door, door to door. 
Now, when you take, there's an Uber. Uber, which uh, is a good, uh, I'm not going to say segue. I hate it when people, oh, this is a good segue into this section. Segue? Are you having a laugh? But anyway, you, you order an Uber or a Bolt, which is the uh, like smartphone taxi service. You get a little map. You see all the little cars. But I'll tell you the problem with your app, not all of them, not, not all Bolt drivers, not all Uber drivers, but the problem with the most of them is that they become high level quantum physics, algebraic calculus economists and accountants. They look at the machine offering them a new job and they work out the distance, the fare, whether it's worth it. And I just, I, I've been looking at this for years now and if they just accept the jobs and trust the machine, trust Rocco's Basilic, if you get the reference, just trust it. I bet you they earn the exact same amount of money that they would do any other. Look at this guy. When your local drinking establishment is Luciferian. Oh, 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 what are they, Freemasonic? I don't know, who else, who else likes the Morning Star? Who else likes old Lucy? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. George the Sixth was the monarch when this post box was erected. <laughs> it's a fresh off filming that. I walked this way and nothing, nothing could have emotionally prepared me for seeing an economy 300 mil tile cutter box thrown in the bush. I wasn't ready for that by a company called Vitrex. Look at that, look how easy it is. Just, just chop your tile. Economy tile cutter, but what if I wanted to cut some premium tiles? Oh, you're saying the cutter's economy, not the tiles that you're necessarily cutting, I get it. Sorry about the vagaries of the English language. The pigeons get caught in the netting under the bridge. Under the bridge. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. There's a really, look at, oh my God, there's skeleton, skeleton pigeons. And there's a live one just hanging out next to his corpse buddies. Bloody hell, it's like, it's hell. Avian hell. Here's two more. And uh, one last one. Ah! pack of Manchesters. I've heard of Chesterfield cigarettes, but Ma Manchester? Yeah, mate, who's gonna smoke a pack of health warning smoking this? Where, where are they? JSS Tobacco Limited. Mm. Dropped him off. And then on the solar panel, uh, what, what is this? 24 hour. 24-7 accident support, Hastings Direct. It's got a couple of LED lights on the front. It's got some uh, sticky 3M straps. Drive well tag, what, what is it? What is all this stuff? One of the great advantages of uh, suburbia is how suddenly it can turn into countryside, like right here. Sheep and everything. What? What's my name? What's your name? No, Char Charlie Veach. Charlie, Charlie Veach. How are you guys doing? You're huh? not kicking no one in the chest today. Only when they deserve it. <laughs> How are you guys? So you recognize me. You yeah. pulled over. Are you going to share some of the... Well, you smoke. You smoke. I smoke. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Anyway, it's a cigarette, isn't it? It's just a cigarette. Good man. Are you guys feeling level? Oh, no. Wait, other way, other way. I'm not feeling... Oh, no. Now I'm feeling absolutely level. I'm at baseline. Cells interlinked. How does it feel to hold a child you love? Interlinked. Still, wait, there you go, that's level, look. Hyper level. They've just abandoned it. I've come for a pee pee, a wee wee in the bush, and I've got myself a brand new working spirit level. Okay, it's still the middle of winter. Why do some plants do this? What's the biological advantage? Can my plant people, my flora knowledge people tell me, why not wait till like March or April and sprout like everyone else? Why sprout in the middle of winter? Why? Why is it not possible? Why? Why? Now, it's amazing just how much of Great Britain, here we are still on Chor 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 Chorley Road, Britain is the red brick 
terraced house. Or the plastered over red brick terraced houses. And on the other side, a bit of a semi-detached houses with a bit of a backyard in the front yard. Here is a terraced house that has just been sold, as the red and yellow sign says. Now, if you've never been, if you're not from this country and you've never been in a, a red brick terraced house, they're surprisingly spacious inside because they were built for miners and other laborers, you know, um, textile workers in the Industrial Revolution in the Victorian and Georgian times. And so, they might be three bedrooms, these ones, but they'd have to fit three children per bedroom, so they're quite big. They had big families back in the past. They believed in the future. They believed in children. They believed in procreation. They believed it was important to keep the game going. Now, Keenan's has sold this one for this uh, family. May you long prosper. May you long have lots of kids. Okay, which way, Western man? Are you gonna go green, row green? Or are you gonna go black? Black leech. Leech sounds like veach. And I live near Black Leach, so Veach will go Black Leach through Linney Shaw Loop Line. This area is called Linney Shaw. Linney Shaw. Yeah, you're in suburbia, then you turn left and whoa, it's forest. All right. Why tell when you can show or you can tell and show? That's much more fun for the kids. Tell and show. Because when you show and tell, kids are like, whoa, 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 what is that? And then you have to tell. But if you tell, you build up the drama, you build up the hype, and then you show. So, the new show and tell is now officially tell and show. Here's a sad one, just after the tell and show, there's more. Uh, missing reward offer, coal. There's coal. Not coal as in Nat King coal, but coal as in burn the coal. Coal is a charcoal gray, there's a lot of coal going on. Coal is a charcoal gray male Labrador retriever dog who went missing on the 4th of Feb at around 6. He is microchipped, last seen, Devoke Avenue, walked in Worsley. And if anyone sees old Cole, now don't phone that number as a prank, come on. Dogs are like family members, and I do hope they find old Coley. And following on from the terraced houses, uh, these are modern British bills, like, you know, Barrett Homes, we call them. Don't know any other developers, why am I? plugging Barrett homes. Not known for, generally in modern houses, not Barrett specifically, generally these modern houses are not known for high build quality and uh, they're not made to last like the terraced houses which may have been built in 1810, 1850, 1890, 1910. These are built to last maybe 30, 35 to 40 years if they're lucky. Now a little miniature play area without children is a horror movie waiting to happen. It's so eerie, so liminal. Okay, last shot here just to get the nice traditional British postman from Royal Mail doing his rounds. Like a scarlet dot on my heads up display. And he's gone. Oh, there he is. Wonderful. I hope his name's Patrick. Please be called Patrick. Hi everyone, Charlie Veach here. So much is going on. Not just on the macro, big world geopolitics level. I mean, geez, the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. I've never seen real life video like that. People spilling out onto the street as high rise apartment blocks collapse around them. I try and avoid news. I try and avoid newspapers. One got me in the supermarket today. A little toddler girl getting pulled from the rubble, screaming like a baby born, the mother died in the rubble, pregnant woman died, but they got the baby out. What are we at today? 10,000, 12,000 dead? And you see when people are in need how other people jump in, they help, they put their lives at risk, they cancel plans, they fly to Turkey, they fly to Syria, they dedicate their lives to trying to save one last person and the old saying is true you know you save one person one child from the rubble it's as if you saved the whole universe it's too sad to ponder I mean I I pray they find everyone who's alive they get them out and my sympathies 
for the hundreds of thousands of families that will have had people hurt or killed by this terrible natural disaster. Um, and my heart sinks looking at Ukraine. You know, the, the Russians are just putting more and more men into it. They're, they're retaking land. The figures are starting to leak now of just how many Ukrainian soldiers have been injured or killed. And we're, we're talking tens of thousands, you know, on, on both sides, injured and killed. Maybe even a hundred thousand casualties. Hello. Doggy. <laughs> you know, it's nice to come to the park. There's a lake there, the birds, people walking their dogs, dog walkers having conversations. It's easy to forget that just a few thousand miles away, European people are literally killing each other in large numbers and real meat grinder, demonic almost numbers. And, and for what? Let's not beat around the bush. It's, it's clearly for the very lucrative gas fields in the east of Ukraine, which is why Putin has, you know, started in the east of Ukraine and why it's all happening in the east of Ukraine right now. Now, is there a way for there to be peace? Can, can they sit down and say, look, rather than kill another young man for what? For money. Imagine dying for money because your boss, imagine you work for a corporation and the boss is like, yeah, yeah, we need more money. You're going to die. Is that what it all is? Are we all guilty in a big demonic meat grinder of killing fields? Is that what our society is built on? I, I don't think so. And I hope not. And I don't want to think that that's what it is. But on a more personal level, first of all, what can we say about the dead in Turkey, Syria, and Ukraine? What can we say? There's nothing to say. Apologies if there's wind noise right now. It's a bit windy. Let me see if I can cover it up a bit. But um, I've met a few guys recently, and we've become mates, you know. You get on very well. One of them was playing a piano. I got chatting to him. We started off a bit grumpy with one another. But one thing I find very interesting is uh, the men I meet, they're very open and they feel that they can trust me because they watch my videos. They feel like I'm a friend and that I'll understand. And they tell me the most awful things about their childhood or experiences that they were forced to be put through, things that they had to see that no child should see. And it's not just piano man it's uh, it's a lot of people and uh, just two in the last two days I've met that have shared with me really dark things that no no one should go through and so to end on a positive message we have to keep on trucking we have to keep on dancing there's no hope except in hoping there's no love except in loving we have to just keep on doing what we know to be right and also to swallow our egos a bit and not fight and not battle and not kill and not hurt because, you know, when big strong men go to war, there's blown up buildings with little toddlers killed and it's like, wow, is that, is that manly? Killing toddlers for a gas field? Thank you for watching.